Hey, 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 everybody. Doing a real quick one for you this beautiful Sunday. You can tell that the sun is up and beaming, doing its job already. And it is going to be another scorcher. I can tell. It's already really, really hot. I did a yard cleanup yesterday and I'm so happy that I did because yesterday was hot but it wasn't as hot as it's feeling already right now so I am so glad I cleaned everything up and today is somewhat of a relaxed free day for me I don't uh, have too much to do I know I plan on going over to my sister's and we uh, intend to do a little quick commercial that we're going to throw on Instagram for our body butter line that we're getting ready to launch and I'll keep you all posted on that and start listing uh, the information for it in the description box for our auntie niece channel here but be on the lookout for that but yeah i just wanted to kind of bring you out here with me this morning to show you how beautiful nature is it's a beautiful thing look at the trees y'all look at it so beautiful you can hear the birds singing. You can also hear like others around me who have chickens. Those chickens are doing their morning thing. My chickens, are they're doing their morning thing. And it's just a good feeling to be able to get up and feel the sunlight on your skin. And it's just something about that sun, that morning sun in particular. It energizes you. Soaking in that vitamin D. So try that sometime. Get up early enough to catch it when it's just starting to rise on you. And do your prayer or your meditation. And get your day started out on a good start. Okay. So speaking of nature, y'all, you know, nature does have a lot to offer us. And one of the things I'm going to share with you today is one of our na natural nature things is ginger. I love ginger. I put it in every green drink that I do in the mornings. And today I'm going to just show you real quickly how you can grow ginger right at your own home in a pot and you can buy it fresh from the store and let it grow uh, a little sprout on it and then put it in a pot and then you've got your own fresh ginger right at home that's what I do here I've got some in ground and uh, I've got some in pots and I'm gonna put some more in a, a couple of pots today and show you how I do that. So let me come over here to this table and get you down to take a look at what I'm talking about. You see those uh, sprouts there? Now this came from store-bought ginger. Store-bought. And I let it sit in a corner on the shelf probably for about I don't know my might have been about a month and look we've got sprouts coming up that's a good thing so as you can see I cut around the sprouts took off the ginger that didn't have the sprouts and just took this piece okay and the wonderful thing about having these sprouts like that, 
they will grow out and create more ginger for you. And let me tell you, that fresh ginger right out of the pot or right out of the ground is so much different than what you buy in the store. Even though you started it from the store-bought, it comes back in its natural form without all this brown, um, what is it, covering that's on it. Fresh out of the ground, it has a nice little light pink color and it's really strong. Much different taste. So I thought I would just bring you here and show you how to do it yourself. Okay, you don't have to go and order any special ginger again. You can just buy a piece of ginger out of the store, especially if it's got those little knobs on it, because this is how this started. Had a little knob on it. And sit it in a cool place, kind of dark on the shelf, it will sprout. Kind of like what potatoes do. Okay, so all you have to do is get your pot with some potting soil in it to get you down here and what you see here is a pot i've got two of them here hopefully you all can see this this sun is really really bright let me pan out some more if i can yep and uh, what i did was put soil in there i've already moistened it as you can see so you want to kind of pre-moisten it. And all you have to do is just make a spot here in your soil. Not too deep. You don't have to go very deep. Take a piece of the ginger with the sprouting side up. And just put her in there nice and sturdy. And then put your soil around it. Okay? Pack it in there really good. And I've got like three here. I'll put probably, well, this pot is a little bit smaller than the other. But I'll take my last two and do the same over here. Put it in there. And then get the second one. The final piece, put it in there and just kind of pack that soil around and I keep that stem exposed so that the sunlight can hit it and it starts to sprout on out. So give it about, I would say within a month's time, you're gonna see a shoot, like a palm shoot come up and that tells you that that ginger is growing underneath, all right? It's hot, y'all. My camera's acting crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. But there you go. Homegrown ginger in a pot. Easiest way, just leave it somewhere, sunny space. I'm gonna leave mine on my deck here, and It'll be easily accessible to me when I want to come out of my kitchen and grab a piece. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for stopping by. And this is Sandy 7 with Auntie Niece. These are the Honky Tonk Chronicles, y'all. Hit that thumbs up and share the video. Peace and love.